Yay, we made it through the first day of class. How exciting is that? Did we, what just happened? How was it? Was I fabulous? Did I get fired? I probably got fired. I got fired, didn't I? It's for the best. I wouldn't have to make any more of these videos. So that's a possible. So now it's time for your first homework assignment. <laughs> what? That's right, my friends. Before we see each other again in person, you're gonna write an expert monologue. That's right, my babies. What's an expert monologue, you're asking? I thought you were. A monologue in a play or movie is an extended period of time where one, one person, not two, one, is talking. In this case, they'll be talking about something they really know about. Here's a hint. Pick something that you already know a lot about and use that as the topic of your monologue. Give the words to a particular character, but don't get too far out there. Keep them pretty close to yourself for this first assignment. We've only had one class. Right. Is it gonna be like this all year? <laughs> no, it gets worse. So, like every hero on a great adventure, you're about to receive some mystical gifts. First is the monologue template. It's in Google Drive, I've shared it with you. Use that so that it's in the right format and we'll both be happy. Second, I've given you an example of an expert monologue that I wrote. Don't judge me, I judge you. That's the gig, you don't judge me. Make sure you read that example so you'll get a feel for what we're looking for. And then number three, I'm including a video clip of a famous actor doing a famous monologue. So watch that and you'll understand what I'm looking for. Now look, this is the first assignment, so don't kill yourself. Just remember, it's the only grade that'll be in the grade book for a while. So if you flunk it, you're flunking the class. Here are the rules. There's only one rule, really, and it's this. When you read the monologue out loud at a normal pace, it has to last two minutes. Two minutes? Two minutes. Are you, crazy? you can do it though. It's not as hard as you think. You'll get there before you realize it. They're due the next time you come to class. I'm freaking out. Either way, I'm very happy that you're in the class. Speech and debate is gonna rock your world in the best possible way. And let's get started with the expert monologues. Do you ever think of yourself as actually being dead? Lying in a box with a lid on it? No. Nor do I. <laughs> really? It's silly to get depressed by it. I mean, one thinks of it like being alive in a box. One keeps forgetting to take into account the fact that one is dead. Well, it should make a difference, shouldn't it? I mean, You'd never know you were in a box, would you? It'd be just like being asleep in a box. Not that I'd like to sleep in a box, mine. Not without any air. You'd wake up dead for a start. <laughs> and then where would you be? Apart from inside a box. That's the bit I don't like, frankly. That's why I don't talk about it. <laughs> because you'd be helpless, wouldn't you? Stuffed in a box like that. I mean, you'd be in there forever. Even taking into account the fact that you're dead. I mean, really, ask yourself. If I was to ask you straight out, I'm going to stuff you in this box now. Would you rather be alive or dead? Naturally, you'd prefer to be alive. Well, because life in a box is better than no life at all, I expect. You'd have a chance, at least. You could lie there thinking, well, at least I'm not dead. Any minute, someone's going to bang on the lid and tell me to come out. Oh, you, what's your name? Come out of there! 